Hi everybody, it's me John Waite and here I am yet again on the Waitrose channel gracing your screens, if I may say that about myself. Anyway, I'm really excited because it's summer, the birds are singing, the sun is shining down and I've got a really fun little recipe for you. Cookie cup sundaes. It's a cookie cup, a cup made of cookie, filled with ice cream, topped with a swirl or dollop, whichever you prefer, of lusciously whipped whipping cream, finished with sprinkles or salted peanuts and of course a good drizzle of chocolate. And the best thing about them is that it is container and ice cream in one and it's all edible. So the first stage of making a cookie cup ice cream sundae, or call it what you will, is of course making the cookie dough. And I like to go a bit posh with this and make a brown butter cookie dough. And the reason I do that is because brown butter has such a gorgeous flavour to it. It's a bit nutty, a bit toffee-y. And it's a really great skill to have actually in your kitchen armoury because you can serve brown butter with fish on roasted vegetables but it works well in sweet things too. So for the brown butter I've got to start with butter and I'm going to brown it. So I'm going to pop it into my pan and what I want to do first is just let the butter melt. Eventually I'm going to boil it but I first of all need to let it melt because if I start boiling it now there'll be little nuggets of butter that aren't melted, they'll burn and everything else will be just sent awry. So let it melt gently and when it's done you can then turn up the heat. So the butter's melted and I'm now going to turn the heat up to a oh, high heat. And I'm going to let this start to boil. So every once in a while as the butter boils give the pan a gentle swirl and that's just simply so that the milk solids don't burn too quickly. We first want to get rid of the moisture, and once the moisture's gone, then we can caramelise the milk solids. Now, I've said this a few times here on the Waitrose channel, and I'm not afraid of saying it again. Cookery is, of course, about sight and smell, but it's also about sound. And what I'm hearing now is a kind of wet, bubbly sound that's perfect. But as this sound starts to become more of a dry crackle, and then eventually a dead silence, like when the rain stops all of a sudden, it's quiet. That's when you know that brown butter is almost ready. So look at it, smell it, but listen to it. And now you can see on top, it's gone quiet. And on top, I've got a fine cappuccino-like foam. So that is perfect. Foam, silence, nutty smell, brown butter. So I'm gonna pour the brown butter into my freestanding mixer bowl. And while it cools, let me tell you about why I like this recipe. I love cookies. I just can't, it's one of life's facts. Cookies are one of the best things on the planet. Cookie ice cream sandwiches are even better. And I thought, how can you reinvent the cookie ice cream sandwich? And I thought, well, if you make a cookie cup, fill it with ice cream and then top it with cream and chocolate, it's, it's the best thing on the planet. <laughs> because you can pick it up and eat it. You can't take them very far, because if you put them in a picnic basket, by the time you get to the picnic or the heath, they're melted into a pool of ice cream. But they are perfect. If you've got like a kid's party and you want to like give them something a bit different, you could even, if you're brave enough, get them to decorate them yourself. But good luck, I wouldn't do that with my nephews and nieces because they are filthy. And that's that, thank you for coming to my TED Talk on cookie cups. Right, shall I crack on? Yeah. I'm gonna to add to the brown butter now some sugar. I'm using golden caster sugar to make the cookies really chewy and gorgeous a bit of light brown muscovado sugar as well. And then all I'm gonna do is give this a mix. If you've not got a freestanding electric mixer, you could of course just use a wooden spoon. It really is that easy. You can mix it with a wooden spoon, a handheld electric mixer, or of course one of these if you've got one. Okay, just a little scrape down. Gorgeous. Now before I crack on with that, I'm gonna get my dry ingredients ready. So into this bowl, I'm gonna sieve some flour, just using plain flour for this. And then although I don't really want these cookie cups to be too puffy, they still need to have a little bit of rice because rice is what gives a cookie a lovely chew. So a little bit of baking powder and a little bit of bicarbonate of soda as well. And even though these are a very sweet treat, even cookie cups or cookie dough need a bit of salt. All I'm gonna do then is just sieve those dry ingredients together, just to get them well blended. Okay, so back to the sugar and butter mixture. I'm gonna add about half a tablespoon or so of vanilla bean paste. If you wanted to, you could use vanilla extract or you could even scrape the seeds from a real vanilla pod. So mix the vanilla bean paste in. And then I'm gonna crack an egg into that as well. 
And just make sure before you add your egg that that brown butter has cooled down enough because you don't want scrambled egg in your cookie dough. And I'll compost the shell later on. Lovely. So my egg's fully incorporated. And now I'm going to add those dry ingredients and then let those all mix in. The smell of this is incredible. And let me tell you, you're going to want this recipe. And the link to it is, of course, down in the video description. What are you waiting for? Go and click it. Beautiful. So the dough is done. But naturally, as you can see, because it's got a little bit of residual heat from browning that butter, it's a little bit soft. All I need to do is put a plate on this, pop it in the fridge for 20, 30 minutes, and then after that time when it's stiffened up, I can make my cookie dough cookie cups. That's a really hard thing to say. So I've got my cookie dough here, and you can see that it is practically a boulder of dough now. A beautiful smelling boulder, by the way. But it's nice and firm, and that's perfect. So all I'm gonna do is weigh it, and then I need to divide that weight by 12, because I'm using a muffin pan or muffin tin with 12 cavities. So once you've weighed out each portion, I just try and roll it into a nice sphere and put those in the cavities. While I'm cracking on with this, I'm going to ask you to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more fabulous recipes such as these ice cream cookie cups. So the cookie dough is in the muffin pan, but they do not yet resemble cookie cups, and that's because I need to form them into cookie cups. Now you could just use your fingers and press them into the tins and make them cup-like, but I prefer to use a utensil. And I found that my rolling pin is the perfect size and width to press these into cookie cup shapes. So I just dip it lightly in flour, get the rolling pin over the top and just press it into a cup shape like that. And you can see with a bit of brute force and a prayer, it forms a cookie dough cup. And then you can just finish it with your fingers to get it nice and even as possible. By the end of this, you'll be a cookie cup forming master. Put it on your CV. <laughs> so the cookie cups are now perfectly formed. They look nice and even. So I'm going to throw them in the oven or place them gently in the oven and they'll bake for between 15 and 18 minutes. Now, a word of warning, these will puff up extravagantly. And then when they come out of the oven, I'll just press them back down again. So don't worry, that's normal. It happens to the best of us. Okay, so these have baked and you can see they've really puffed up. So as soon as they come out, just press. And don't be shy, be quite firm, just to reform that beautiful cookie cup shape. Oh, that is the most satisfying thing I think I've ever done. Right, we let them cool in the tin, and then once they're cool, I'll get them out and I'll fill them with ice cream. But before I do, just one more. Oh, oh. Someone's gonna have to remove me from the kitchen. Right, my cookie cups are cooled. I've put them on a wire rack ready. And all I need to do now is make them into ice cream cookie cups. For that, I'm gonna use some ice cream. Now I'm going with a salted butterscotch ice cream because salted butterscotch and cookie is a match made in heaven. But I feel it my civic duty to let you know that Waitrose also do a banoffee pie ice cream. And wait for this, I'm gonna need a minute. A sticky toffee pudding ice cream. Which would you prefer? Which ice cream would you use? You could, of course, use whatever ice cream you like. So all I'm gonna do is scoop some of that ice cream, pop the ice cream into the cookie cup, and just flatten off the top. And it's pretty much common sense, but I will warn you, make sure your cookie cups are completely cooled. Otherwise, you'll just have a pool of ice cream dribbling down your fingers. <sighs> Lovely, these are done. I'm gonna pop them in the freezer now. And at this stage, you could pop these into an airtight container and leave them in the freezer for up to three months and then just finish them off when you want to serve them. Okay, so these have had a little stint in the freezer and all I'm gonna do now is finish them with some whipped cream, melted chocolate and sprinkles of choice. I like salted peanuts because it's kind of like when you go to the cinema and you get ice cream sundaes with salted peanuts on top. But if you don't like peanuts, you could of course use sprinkles, chocolate chips, whatever floats your boat. So all I'm gonna do is pipe some whipped whipping cream in a beautiful spiral. And if you don't have a piping bag, you could always just dollop it on. Perfect. Now, it wouldn't be an ice cream sundae with sprinkles and chocolate, so I've got some melted chocolate here. 
I use dark because I'm a sophisticated adult, but for kids you might want to use milk, or even white, or a mixture of all three. Holy moly. And then to finish it, to counterbalance that sweetness of the ice cream and the cookie, some salted peanuts. What do you reckon? They look pretty good, don't they? I mean, I am tempted just to put my face on the entire tray and chew my way out of there. Wouldn't be the first time. Look at how gorgeous that is. A chewy cookie cup, that sweet, salty butterscotch ice cream, lightly whipped cream and a salted peanut. Oh, and a little bit of dark chocolate. There you go. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again very soon. Cheers.